So here's some good news. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, wait. Wait for it. You might be seeing a massive new spider as big as your palm right in your backyard. That's a big spider, right? right? right. And there's huge. been a lot of talk about <laughs> this spider on social media. 10 News anchor Rachel Lucas joins us with more on what you need to know about the Duro spider. All I know is that I don't need to see that in person. Yeah, and it looks even bigger on this screen behind me. I'm very uncomfortable about it, but this is what we're talking about. This creepy crawly is the Joro spider, and it's true we could be seeing them this spring here on the East Coast, but there's also a lot of misconceptions. So today we talked to Virginia Tech experts to get the facts. It was already one of our greatest phobias, arachnophobia, the fear of spiders. And 2022 just ushered in the Joro spider and it has taken the internet by storm. To understand what we're really looking at here, we talked to Virginia Tech entomologist Dr. Teresa Dellinger. That's where a lot of sensationalism has come out about this spider. The adult female Joro spider is probably about three to four inches, which is across the palm of your hand, but that is including the long, thin legs. But that's just the female. Dr. Dellinger says the males are much smaller, and it turns out they're more timid than most of your native spiders. These are not considered a type of spider that you need to worry about lunging at you like a bad horror movie. More good news. She says its hype is worse than its bite. The Jura spider is big, but its fangs are thought to be small and pretty ineffective at piercing human skin. It's possible it could bite if handled roughly, but it's not considered a medically important spider like the black widow. Instead, she says they are ambush predators that like to sit in their webs and wait for their next meal. So if we do see them, that's likely where we'll spot them. The biggest misconception is that these are flying spiders. Somebody might read the headline and think that these have wings. Spiders don't have wings and the adults don't fly at all. While baby spiders use their parachute-like silks to travel in the wind, thankfully, the big ones do not. So you're not going to see parachuting adult spiders using their webs as a parachute falling out of the sky. That's just sensationalist. No parachuting adult spiders. Okay, well, that's a plus. So, so that's good. Yeah, that, that is good. And also good news, there have been no official sightings here in Virginia yet. But if you do see one, take a photo, maybe even collect it if you want to, let them know. And I'm send, send us that. a picture because we want to share it on the news. But this we is did, an invasive spider came in on a ship from somewhere right. or something. Right, they think cargo ships and right. then, you know, the babies have spread throughout the East Coast. But uh, some good news, we want to recap for you. They don't fly. Okay, that's okay. a plus. Right. They are big, yes. but only the females, and most importantly, they aren't coming to get us. Okay, that's the most important thing. It is. <laughs> it They're is. not going to jump out and bite you. Mm -mm. No. All right, thanks so much.